Former Utah Jazz coach Frank Layden is being honored at the Distinguished Utah Gala. Joining us now live on the KSL Newsline is Coach Layden. Coach, i got to tell you, it is a real honor to talk to you. Thank you for your time this morning. Amanda, thank you very much. I finally made it. I'm getting on the KSL Morning Show. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. Just now I know I've arrived. <laughs> Way to go. You finally made it. Uh, now tell me a little bit about this. You, you're going to be at this gala on the 14th of June, and you're raising money for scholarships. Is that right? Yes, you know the uh, the BYU Management Society. The uh, the young people who uh, 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 graduated or, or have an association with uh, uh, BYU, and they they run this uh, fair every year to raise money to put between forty and sixty help forty and six to sixty uh, youngsters uh, who have proved themselves academically at the high school level to continue on uh, to uh, college education. So it's a wonderful thing. In fact, when, the, when they call me about the honor, I, you know, I was overwhelmed because the, some of the people who have preceded me are, are outstanding citizens and, and heroes here in, uh, in our state. I, I, was, I was overwhelmed, but I really was proud when I heard where the money was going. Every single cent that's raised at the gala will be used for, for, for youngsters to continue their education. It doesn't get any better than that. What a great thing, Coach. We appreciate it. Hey, uh, you know, you and I golfed together about 10 years ago, and I clearly expect you to remember that. Uh, <laughs> hey, speaking of uh, sports, though, what do you, what do you, what's your take on the uh, NBA right now and the finals going on? Well, you know, I, I, I'm excited. I'll tell you one thing. There's not many players that I'd say I'd pay to, to watch, but I certainly uh, love to see Steph Curry. I mean, uh, he is so exciting and such a great shooter, and uh, you know, the, the, I mean, he is wonderful. I knew his dad, of course, he played for the Jazz, and and I knew his grandfather, who represented Del Curry uh, when we negotiated, uh, uh, you know, uh, Del's uh, contract with us. But anyway, uh, I, I'm I'm excited about it. I think people are excited. They, it's great to see the crowds there and how they react, and uh, they're a wonderful team, the Warriors. Cleveland's very good, uh, but the Warriors certainly are very exciting, and uh, they seem to have a lot of depth. And I would have, before the thing, if I were a betting man, I'm not. I would have picked Cleveland, but I'm not so sure now. I mean, they, the the toughness of the Warriors and their great skills, passing and shooting, and unselfishness. You know, they've won two games already with really uh, Steph Curry not making that big a uh, contribution. Forgive me, Coach. Uh, we've got a bad traffic situation. Can I put you on hold just for a second? Oh, you got to take care of the traffic. I, I will. Go I'll, be, right. Go get them. I'll be right back. Coach Frank Layden with me. We've got an emergency traffic coach situation. when you heard uh, over the weekend that Muhammad Ali passed away. Well, you know, I was uh, I was very fortunate to, to live during his heyday. Uh, I love boxing, uh, professional boxing at the level that he brought it. Uh, it, uh, it was, it, he was a special athlete. I think it's the toughest of all sports. It's the, the toughest of all sports to prepare for. And I don't think many people could argue that he was the, uh, he was the best, the greatest, uh, professional boxer that ever lived. <clears throat> but he also did something that a lot of other athletes don't do. He became the conscience of this of this nation he was a guy who stood up and said i will give up my championships i'll give up my income uh to do what i feel is right there's not many people that have that kind of uh gumption uh to to represent uh uh their nation or to represent their country you know he's a he was a country boy from louisville he was skilled in boxing but intellectually he he proved to be uh, one of our one of our greatest leaders and leading by example. And uh, you know, I, I I was very fortunate to have a, the opportunity to meet him. I met him right here one time and at a, at a, a Senator Orrin Hatch's golf uh, charity golf tournament. And he always was a gentleman, and he always had uh, a, a great deal of respect for people from uh, from other races. From you know, I, I don't think there was anybody that was that was more visible. And that people recognized around the world uh, than Muhammad Ali. I mean, he, you know, he was he was, everywhere he went, people knew who he was. And boy, that's really something special when we think about all of the great athletes and and, and great people we've had in this country. Yeah, well, a lot of Utahns, of course, consider you one of the best here as that's well. True, coach. Tremendous respect here for uh, you, Jazz Coach, former Utah Jazz Coach Frank Layden. Thanks so much for joining us this morning, Coach. We appreciate your time. Well. Thank
Thank you very much for having me.